You're listening to the Freelance Blend Podcast, episode 142. Welcome to the Freelance Blend Podcast, where we entertain, educate, and engage freelancers from the Philippines and across the globe. And now, here's your host, Marv De Leon. Hello everyone and welcome to the Freelance Blend Podcast. This is your host, Marv De Leon. This is episode number 142. And before we start with our with our uh, program, I'd like to thank everyone who um, went to the Freelancer Fair last week. And uh, I was happy to be one of the hosts of that event. And sana uh, you are there to experience the exciting world of freelancing. Kasi mas dumadami na ang freelancers. And I noticed compared to last year, mukhang dumoble yung number of people who are freelancers and also who want to become freelancers. And again, thank you to the Manila Workshops team for having me as again as the host of uh, the Freelancer Fair 2017. But before we go into the program, I'd like to thank our sponsor, Golands. Before we continue with the show, I would like to talk about one of the latest platforms for us freelancers. Have you heard of Golands? Well, you should. They're an up-and-coming platform and currently rely 100% on their freelancers to drive their sales. Opening an account is so easy, you can sign up using your Facebook or LinkedIn account and you're good to go. What's great about Golands is their affiliate program. They pay 10% commission on their fees to their freelance partners for life. You hear that? You refer somebody once, he earns on Golands and you get paid for life. Now, that's passive income. What's more, their fees to freelancers are among the lowest in the industry and they're constantly working to find the right freelancer for the right employer. Do yourself a big favor. It's totally free to sign up. Just log on to freelanceblend.com slash golance. That's freelanceblend.com slash G-O-L-A-N-C-E. Now, to activate your referrals... Sign up for an account, click on the Referrals tab, and refer everybody you know. They pay for not just your freelance referrals, but also for employer referrals too. And again, they pay you for life. So this is an income stream in itself, and it's a great way to get the word out about this amazing platform while making lots of profit. That's Golands. Again, just go to freelanceblend.com slash Golands. Okay, thank you again, Golands, for supporting Freelance Blend. And now, we'll go straight to the program. And I... Because, ano to eh, This is about uh, more than an hour or an hour and a half of uh, an interview. And also, it's a presentation and a demonstration of one of the newest services for freelancers and it's Taxumo.com and if you haven't heard of Taxumo, it's uh, an online service that allows freelancers to uh, file and pay their income taxes easily. So we have with us none other than the COO of Taxumo and she's also been a guest of the Freelance Blend podcast before. So she is none other than Ginger Arboleda. Of, she's also from manilaworkshops.com, uh, a partner ng Freelance Blend for our workshops and other events. But this time, Ginger will talk about the exciting new service for freelancers, which ayun nga, Taksumo, and they launched it. Uh, just this year and I think this is a service that will not only help freelancers but will help the country as well in terms of um, helping the country yung sa tax collection and of course uh, if used properly 
it will help build our nation. So, uh, ayun nga, again, this is a long episode. So, if you can finish the whole episode, I suggest for you to come back. Pero you really uh, learn a lot from this. And at the same time, you can, uh, if you have an opportunity to watch a video, the video demonstration, so I also suggest na after listening to the show, to check the video in our Facebook page and in YouTube kasi uh, Ginger will demonstrate how easy it is to use Taksumo. And uh, ako rin, it's I've been a user of it and it's really helped me save a lot of time uh, running my business. And towards the end, we'll talk about a special uh, promotion, a special offer for Blue Blenders out there. So this is a special promotion uh, for us, uh, Freelance Blend, uh, for us in the community. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Again, Miss Ginger Arboleda of Taxumo.com. Hi everyone, I'm Ginger Arboleda. So I'm the CEO of Manila Workshops. So Manila Workshops is a an events management company and we focus on learning events and the learning events that we create focuses on entrepreneurship and freelancing so for the recently concluded freelancer fair so it was manila workshops who created that that particular event um and about we've been in the business we've been in the industry for already almost close to five years na rin. Uh, we've created more than 300, parang last count ko, 100, 320 workshops and almost a dozen conferences already. Um, and uh, before before all of these things, I was also a freelancer. I was a freelance uh, content writer for Philippine Online Chronicles and Upwork. Sorry, Odesk. <laughs> Medyo matagal na yun. <laughs> so, Odesk, nung panahon na yun. <laughs> ano ko, uh, ano yun, no? Parang yun. Nung nag- nung before pa mag-merge with Elan, so nagka-content writer na ako for Upwork. Ano yung waba ka Feeling mo daw, Marv. Uh, yun, so nabutan na ni Marv yun. <laughs> um, so, before Masa that... Masayos pa ako nun. <laughs> talaga lang. <laughs> before that, I was also a blogger. So I started blogging way back in 2008. Uh, and uh, yeah, prior to that, no, I was working in the corporate uh, in the corporate world. I was a banker, naging advertising executive din ako for like I think two years, and then I also handled uh, a franchise of uh, of basa food franchise. <laughs> Babanggitin ko na sana yung brand, eh. but the food franchise. Um, so there, those are my experiences actually. But now I'm busy with Taksumo and Manila workshops and of course my blog. So in in terms of freelancing, I still uh, do freelance writing. Pero in that aspect already, na it's aligned with my blog. I earn through my blog. I deal with clients, pero mostly for sponsored posts, for uh, endorsements. There, that's it. Okay. So if you guys want to learn more about Ginger. We inter- I interviewed Ginger many years ago. So, hindi ko lang memory. Just search for Ginger Arboleda and Freelance Blend. So, para mas makilala nyo si Ginger ground niya. Yung mga hugot niya. <laughs> na hindi naman. Yung beginnings <laughs> na how, how she became a success, a successful blogger and serial entrepreneur. But now, we'll be talking about her uh, one of her latest uh, ventures, yung kanyang latest mm-hmm. baby, which is Taksumo. So, I'll ano, transition, Ginger, to show them the yes. screen. Yes, yes. Okay. Yan. Okay, so... Okay, Just let me know, those... Jin. Sure, if sure, you, sure. Ano, kasi I'm uh, controlling the uh, presentation, so just let me know. Okay, yeah. no problem. Sige, sige. Ganyan, ganyan na lang. I think nakikita naman nila. No? So, um, Taksumo start, ah, well, Taksumo is all about, yun na nga, diba? celebrate your passion. Sorry dun sa date, 
kasi kinuha ko lang yung title slide from one of the presentations. <laughs> Madali yan <laughs> talaga to, Madali yan presentation. Madali yan, kasi binulabog ako ni Marv like one hour before lang. So, ginawa ko Sorry ng... Na. <laughs> while waiting for you guys. So, cancel natin. Cancel natin. I know, no, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, this is, this is, this was actually the, oh, oh rapid, rapid implementation as in five minutes before while waiting for you guys. So, um, this was, part of this slide was actually part of the press conference. We recently launched it. Kung makikita nyo, July lang. <laughs> so, bagong bago. Um, we opened uh, it to... So- Yes, kita yes. naman, kita niya naman yung screen, di ba, guys? Okay naman? Do you see Just it? sure? Okay. Yes. Okay, kita good, sure. good. So, okay na yan. Okay. Okay, good. Next okay. slide, please, Marv. Okay. So, uh, before I share with you the system, no, and all of the benefits, I wanted to give you an idea of why we started Taksumo and how it can help you as a freelancer. So, um, this is where I'll share with you who we are, what we do, and why we are here. So, next slide. So, as mentioned, um, I was the, I am the, sorry, yeah. <laughs> My wife talaga. Yan yung spiel ni EJ pag siya yung nagpa-present. Pero since ako yung nagpa-present, this is my business. So, you all know that Manila Workshops is my business. Um, and one of the things really that uh, hindered me from focusing more in, uh, in arranging all of the workshops that we have for you guys no, was that I also had to concentrate on taxation. I jumped from one freelance accountant to the next because for some reason, I think yung pinaka okay na was the most recent accountant that I had. Pero madami eh, for some reason, namamalas lang naman ako. I'm sure not all of accountants, no, not all accountants are like this, no, but the first one, charged me too high. The second one, didn't pay my tax dues. So, nagkaroon ako ng mga penalties. Siguro, nagbayad ako ng worth um, 20 plus uh, thousand pesos based on yung mga hindi niya. Totally, nakalimutan niya magbayad ng income tax ko for the entire year. Every quarter, nakalimutan niya rin. So, hindi ko alam kung ano ginawa niya. So, ako naman, being, being angered sa sa taxation before, total, di ba, super dependent ako sa kanya. So, when I got that, no, I was, I was super bad and I was really crying kasi sabi ko, ano ba yan? Ano kung kailangan magbayan ng penalty? No, and they're supposed to take care of that when he was supposed to take care of that. Hi, Mark. Yun. So, anyway, going back, sabi ko, I really want to understand this already and do it myself na lang kasi, uh, I don't want to pay penalties. So, next slide. What happened was, EJ, who is my husband, kasi may, may experience na talaga siya with, with all of these things, no? like programming. What he did was he created a rudimentary system. Uh, ayan, sa kanyang words, let me read. Simple, semi-automatic, <laughs> and little file. <laughs> um, you know, so, Ako, actually, pag tinanong mo ako, hindi ko rin alam. Basta, inautomate niya yung process ko dito sa bahay. So it was specific lang to the computer. I don't know how he did it. I guess you mga programmers dito like Mark can actually know kung anong classing, um, kung ano yung ginawa niya for me. But basically, inautomate niya yung process ko dito sa house. And then, nap- napadali talaga yung buhay ko in terms of taxation. So sabi ko, why not... I'm sure if I'm experiencing this kind of problem, I'm sure a lot more people would want to um, avail of this, no? And would what would love to have this particular service sa sa kanilang bahay as well or wherever, no? So what we did was we created the concept together, and then January um, 2016, I think that was 2016, when we were creating the deck. So we started with the business model, <clears throat> sorry, the concept, the model, the plans, and then <clears throat> we created a deck. So yun yung presentation namin. And then we really didn't know anything about the, the, the tech space here, the tech startup space. We saw that a lot of pe- people were pitching. So sabi ko, ay, baka kailangan natin mag-pitch. So we pitched in Echelon. Next slide. This is Echelon. 
uh, so we were chosen as one of the top 100 um, startups in Asia. So we went to Singapore. And then uh, another thing that we found out now when we went to Singapore was that Shampre, we were mingling with other people also from, let's say, Thailand, Vietnam, Indonesia. And a lot of them also had the same problem. But the thing is, like in the States, when you go to Silicon Valley, they won't understand you. Kasi parang sa kanila, very automated na lahat. Pati sa Singapore, very automated na. So they don't understand the problems that we have here in the Philippines. And even in, let's say, Vietnam, Indonesia, Malaysia. So hindi nila nag-gets na very manual pa rin yung process natin. Next yeah. is, just a month after that, or almost at the same time, though, we got into Idea Space. So, Idea Space is one of the. Yan yung next slide. Uh, so, Idea Space is one of the incubation programs here. It's the top incubation, one of the top uh, incubation programs in the Philippines. It's under the MVP group. So we we were one of the top seven top 10 muna who qualified for an equity-free funding. Yan yung malaking check sa next slide na nakuha namin, which is 500,000. And then, um, we had to pitch. So we had to validate the idea. And then, we presented it in demo day on December, la, sorry, last December 2016. And then, that's that's why we went live nung December 2016 because of demo day. So okay, let's go to uh, next slide, please. So, um, so there. So we were featured recently because we launched this July. No? Uh, Marv, is it okay if we present na lang yung slide? Sorry. Ah, what do you mean? Sorry. Ah. Uh, okay. I present mo na lang. Ayan. Ito so, lang. Okay. Present. Yes. Uh, so um, just this July kasi we... Um, yes, yes. Yeah, in a while. Okay. There. So we were para bigger na lang. Um, so we were featured in Entrep, Philippines, Philippine Star, Bloomberg TV. Um, because of the the additional value really that people can get from this. And we were also the first startup in the Philippines to uh, who was given the investment priority plan by TTI, Board of Investments. Uh, we were given a four-year tax holiday. <laughs> so there. So yeah. going Did to the next slide. I want to make sure that they can see after I... I can't see the webinar screen. So the okay, sure. comments, I don't know if... Kung... Okay naman ba? Uh, kita niyo ba, guys? I'll tell Marv na lang. All good daw. All good. Okay, okay. Okay sige. lang. Okay, good. Okay, next slide. Okay, so let's go to the actual process. Okay, this is the current process without Taksumo. So that for those of you marami tayong aspiring dito, di ba, na entrepreneurs. I sorry, freelancers. So the current process is you collate your receipts, meaning both the receipts that you give out, no, assuming that you're already registered. Ah. So you uh, issue receipts, so lahat ng mga in-issue nyo na receipts, as well as lahat ng ginastos nyo na receipts, all of these, you collate them, and then you encode them, and then you compute your tax dues based on all of those computations, no? Uh wishing na alam niyo kung paano i-compute. And then, <laughs> diba? Kasi totoo eh, you have to know how to compute eh. And yeah. then you fill out complicated tax forms kasi ang dami niyong if you fill out. I wait. Uh, Mar- Nag-time <laughs> out yung taxo mo. Ah, okay. Time sige. Later mo. na lang. Uh, dito na lang ulit. Yes. Sure. Uh, so, okay, after you... Ulit. Sure, sure. So after you fill out uh, these tax forms, you have to also, let's say, file supporting documents kung meron, like yung mga uh, 2307, yung mga withholding tax forms nyo. And then you have to line up at the bank or the RDO. Re- RDO means Revenue District Office. So this is the office of the BIR within the city of your business. So this is the normal um, process pag ginawa niyo siya on a manual basis. Tapos, um, dito sa tax, compute, before you compute tax, when you compute tax shoes, you fill out complicated forms, it's done in a system of 
BIR called TBIR forms. Hi, Anna. Good evening. Yon. So, it's done in a system called TBIR forms. Tapos, pag may supporting documents ka pa, iba pa yung system na gagamitan mo. You have to download yung SAWP na system. So, maraming mga systems, maraming proseso. Uh, next slide, please, more. Um, So, a small business or a freelancer. So, mapapansin mo, no, no, sometimes I interchange freelancer and small business in this case because uh, the tax forms don't differ naman if you're a freelancer or a business owner, okay? So, in terms of, we're talking about taxation, na, so in terms, sa mata ng BIR, um, dalawa lang yan, VAT or non-VAT, di ba? So, so yeah. in this, yeah, in this case, like small businesses, um, and freelancers and professionals are all the same when you start out. So, at the minimum, you file 16 forms in one year. So, what are the 16 forms? So, these are your monthly sales tax filings, so th- which is 12, di ba? So, kasi monthly oh. siya. Quarterly income tax filing, which is Q1 to Q3. And then you will have your annual ITR or your income tax return filing, which is on April 15, the next year. So, kung mapapansin mo, yung annual income tax filing mo, yan yung adjustment mo for your quarterly income tax filing. There. So, these are the forms that we need to fill out. No? Um, and according, ang dami nga eh. So, and wala pa yan employees ha. Like, if you have employees, meron ka pang mga 1,600 forms. And this is based on my experience ha. Kasi, I'm, uh, by the way, what I'm sharing with you now, it's all based on my experience. So, in terms of, I'm not an accountant. So, if may mga accounting questions kayo, I think it's best to ask uh-huh. an accountant. Pero, I'm sharing with you what I've experienced. That's why we came up with Taxumo. So, so it really takes me a lot of time before I finish um, my taxes. So, on the average, this is from a study by PricewaterhouseCooper. So, um, 193 hours sa Philippines ang spent ng average business owner dito. So, totoo yan. That's about 8 days. Kinumpo, yes. Kinumpit ko, man, ano ha, sa, sa utak ko lang, ha, hindi, ano ko lang, may calculator yes. ako. That, that's 8 days. <laughs> Ganip na sana so, ako eh. Oh, di ba? <laughs> Pero yeah, ano kaya so, kung majority nito ang 193 hours? Ano yan? Siguro average yung, small? Eh, ano, average business owner? Yung, yung pag, I mean, yung pagpila, pag, pag-travel? Oo, pag-travel. Eh, hindi, wala pa dyan. I don't think nandiyan yung travel. Pa, well, hindi boy. ko alam ha. Pero, I don't think so. Pero, kala mo, Ganyan na tayo, di ba? Ang Vietnam, 770 hours. Wow. So, guys, okay pa tayo sa lagay na to. <laughs> pero, pero still, di ba? I think there are a lot of things that we can improve on, really, pagdating sa processing. So, and, I, and, um, and, ang, 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 right now, ah, parang there are a lot of, maganda nga na parang all of us like freelancers, small business owners, we're thinking of ways on how we can improve a lot of things no, dito sa Pilipinas. Yun. So, yeah. So, this is one of the things that we saw that we can help with. So, meron din tinatawag na tax bill shock kasi diba, usually what we do is we outsource it to an accountant. Tapos, I don't know if sino dito yung gumagamit ng accountant for their own businesses. Ako. Ah, di ba? Ikaw, yeah. Tapos, di ba, Marv, like yung, yung, we coined this term kasi na <clears throat> tax bill shock. Kasi like ako before, my accountant would tell me two to three days before the, the, yung due date na, oh, Ginger, ito yung babayaran mo. Tapos ko na-resubli niya, 10,000. Magugulat ako lagi na meron ako. Uh, ano, 10,000? Kasi ang wala akong ka- kaalam. Diba? para ha? Bakit 10,000 yung babayaran ko? So, that's what we call tax bill shock. And it happens to people, even with accountants. No? So, um, next slide, please. So, in taxu with taxumo kasi there are just three things that you need to do one is to input your income and expenses and then click file 
and then pay online by credit card via online bank transfer. I'll show you later yung system. So, tatlong things lang yung gagawin nyo with us. Uh, we'll show you the system later on para ma- ma-absorb nyo. Bakit tatlo lang? Ayun. Pero tatlong, talaga, tatlo lang. Talaga. I'll share in my experience kasi I've been using Taxomo since the start of the year, di ba? Yes, yes. Marv has been, guys, no joke ha, si Marv talaga user namin and um, matagal ko na siya actually niligawan to f- for him to use the system. Oo, pwede naman show din. So, matagal na, tapos parang kinukulit ko siya, tapos parang one day, one day before the tax deadline, bigla niya akong tinanong. Yeah. Uh, pwede bang mag- mag-tax mo? So now, he's using the system. Yes. Yeah. Later, kwento Okay, na. next Yes. Sure, sure. Kasi I think yung 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 taksu mo mm-hmm. parang ma-realize mo lang siya pag ano na pag na-experience mo na. I mean, siguro for now yung mga bago yes. pa hindi pa nila naisip. Pero pag yung iisipin mo na na I need to pay this, I need to file, tapos I need to go to the bank para pumila, tapos yung mga banko na pwede ka pumila, selected lang, di ba? Hindi naman lahat. Yes, hindi lahat. Hindi Correct. lahat. So, I sure I I'm, I'm I'm sure na mahaba ang pila doon kasi sila lang yung saka deadline eh. So, kaya doon ko na realize na parang tama yata si Ginger. And then after that, mm-hmm. after using Taksumo, siguro for just three minutes, five minutes tapos na ako. <laughs> so, imagine. Oh, mabilis lang siya. So, we we'll, we'll... Let's skip this siguro no, Marv, yeah. kasi let's show them the actual system later yeah. para makita okay. nila. Okay. <clears throat> Plus so, mas maganda na yung itsura. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry guys. Yan yung dati pa, eh. iba na nga yung itsura ng taxo mo. Okay. Yeah. Sige lang. Yeah. Uh, okay, there. So, our target market para for those na parang if you wanna help spread the word, no? Um, our target market are small business owners, professionals, and freelancers. So, so again, yeah, next slide. So, just to give you uh, an idea on how big the market is here in the Philippines, um, we have 99 po- 99.6% of all businesses in the Philippines are small businesses. So, yan yung bumabagsak sa micro, small, un- uh, and medium uh-huh. enterprises. So, S- uh, MSMPs. So, from micro to medium. Tapos, in terms of yung se- registered self-employed professionals in the Philippines, so, pasok dito yung freelancers kasi you guys, when you file sa, when you try to apply, no, sa PIR, babagsak kayo sa professionals under this category. So, that's 2 million. Pero, based on the uh, survey of the Senate, only 500,000 regularly file, even if 2 million or 2 point something million are registered. Huh? Only 500,000 file <laughs> their taxes. So, uh, so, yan yung, yan yung market na well, uh, syempre, di ba, parang obviously, I'm sure, meron, ng, meron na yan records with the PIR na uh, they will they will hit, try to tap that market later on. Um, and in, ito, hindi na rin to update, di ba, parang nasa 1.5 na rin tayo na freelancers in Upwork, and Upwork pa lang yun, di ba? So, we don't really know off, yung mga offline freelancers, wala pang list na mga yan. So, Okay, uh, why do... Sige, next slide. Okay, so these are our... Ay, cool. Ayan, si Francis. So these are our Taksumo heroes. Um, okay, siguro as a freelancer, ang question is, bakit ako magbabayad ng tax diba, in the first place? Um, we When we went into this, no. actually, we tried to validate and ask a lot of hireling. We asked a lot of freelancers, now, would you pay taxes? And most of them talaga, nagulat nga kami, eh, kasi we would assume na, ayoko nga magbayad kasi hindi naman ako nasisilip or something. But most oh. of them really wanted to pay taxes for these reasons. Ah. Number one, medical. Um, kailangan nila ng uh, HMO, kailangan nila mag-apply na medical, yung HMO cards, yung medical benefits, no? Yeah. Uh, pero hindi sila makapag-present ng proof of income. Yeah. 
So, that's one. Number two is, pag nag apply sila ng visa to go to Japan, parang kikita nga tayo ng malaki, tapos we want to enjoy the the money that we work for. Hindi naman tayo makaalis kasi wala naman tayo, again, proof of income and ITR, yeah. diba? Yung yeah. income tax return. So, sa mga nagbabalak na mag-travel to Japan, mag-travel to, uh, I don't know ba, Korea ba? Is, yes, talagang Korea eh. May, <laughs> may visa ba doon? <laughs> Ang alam ko lang Japan na ako hiningan eh. So, anyway, when you travel kasi, di ba, for your visa to be approved, kailangan ng uh, documents. So, um, you can get naman, parang, I know, nagbibigay ng certificate something ang uh, upward pero hindi siya kasi hindi siya nagsasuffice eh parang from what i've heard may nagkukwento sa akin na hindi sufficient yung document na binibigay na para certificate of engagement if i'm not mistaken from upward so you you still need na may proof ka pa rin of projects and proof of income so yon uh, itr mo will really show that um, another thing is if you want a loan if you want a loan for credit uh, if you want to apply for credit cards if you want to apply for housing loans and personal loan. loans sa bank or car loan you actually need that no um, that proof so yon little by little and plus the fact that um, I think this generation is more attuned to giving back to the society and they think they think and they believe that taxes is one of the things that you actually need to do so that you can give back to the to our country basically yes. so we've seen that shift already nagugulat nga ako eh kasi um, when we did our an analysis of the people in our database sabi namin nung una ay I, I, I assume na maraming small business owners siguro mga 80 tapos 20% lang yung freelancers but nagulat kami because 50% of our database are freelancers so oh. that's a good thing as in that's a good thing really na uh-huh. here are people who are willing to pay who are willing to professionalize the industry already and may even take oh, alam mo yan, and may even yeah. be the source of of all of these uh, funding for the government to to build greater things and infrastructure and all of these things. So that's that's what the Taksumo Hero is all about. So it's about um, pursuing your passion while profiting from it, but at the same time giving back. So these are the four individuals that we've initially uh, chosen to be our Taksumo Heroes. Okay. How does Taksumo run the chicken the dock of your taxes? Um, later on, show then I'll show you the system. Tapos you can ask again later kung may, may questions ka. I'll show you the system. Okay, so there. These are the Taksumo heroes. Next, next slide, please, Mark. Yep. <clears throat> so these are the subscription plans that we have. Um, we have annual packages, which is uh, the basic annual and the premium annual. And then basic monthly. So uh, for basic annual, so it's four four nine five. Build siya at the start of the month at the year, pala, sorry, year. So ang pa- pumapatak siya ng three hundred seventy five per month. Pero we bill it one time kasi parang at the beginning. And then premium is at nine four nine five. Basic monthly naman if you really want to the monthly package, it's at one two nine five. So the difference, as you can see, these are the forms that we file. So we file, right now, we file 2551M, which is the percentage, monthly percentage tax returns, and the 1701Q, which is the quarterly income tax return. So for basic, wala lang tayong annual ITR na kasama kasi medyo... Uh, madugo talaga siya. So you notice the price difference. Uh, medyo tedious talaga kasi when we do the annual for you. So, pero even if you get uh, the annual ITR, I mean. So even if you get the premium, that's 792 only spent on your taxes, di ba? So, yeah. so, very affordable. Next slide. So, uh, question, question ko dito. So, yes. parang, but parang naman nabas mas mura yung premium sa basic monthly? Or annual din to binabayaran yung premium? Um, okay. Uh, yes, kasi for, for a SaaS company like us, we need to allocate resources for that later on. So if we know like prior to a certain period that we already have X amount of 
of um, filings in place, we can plan later on for for our operating expenses. That's why a basic monthly is um, more kumbaga, costly because we can't plan ahead. So, ganun lang yun. Kaya parang may top load lang kami when it comes to annual the annual income taxes. Ay, okay. that, the, what do you call this? This annual subscriptions. Dapat so there, but we're... Um, okay, for premium, kunwari no, nag-annual ka, Marv, if you decide to, to basta before December, to shift, we will just uh, charge you for the butal. So, pwede kang mag-move up. Delegate pero access, dahil, okay. Pero dahil okay. friends tayo, delo ka lang. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, may ganun talaga ba? <laughs> Ayun, si Anna. Anna has a question, Marv. At Sige. saka, do you have, uh, NC Herlene. Anna's question is, what's delegate access? So, delegate access is for those, kasi, um, for Taksumo, no? For example, if you still want to have your accountant with you, uh, for example, gusto mo pa rin ng advice kasi accountants can do so much more than just file your go to the bank and file your taxes, diba? They can advise you on proper business uh, strategic uh, plans no, for the business. They can advise you where to put your, let's say, how to efficiently work on your operational expenses, etc., etc. So, um, a user uh, um a uh, subscription basically is tied up to one certificate of registration, which is your registration with a BIR. So for that particular subscription, you can have up to three users. So there. So Anna, as an accountant, you can actually use this for your um, what do you call this for your clients. So that saves you the time of going to the bank, and now you can actually. Um, cater nationwide na yung clients mo pwede nang lumaki. So that's how accountants can use Taxumo. So if they wanna grow na, kasi sa totoo lang Marv ngayon, di ba, pag accountant ka, tas dito ka sa Metro Manila, limited lang. So pwedeng, yeah. ang i-cater mo is, okay, nandito lang sa Tagig, Pasi, ganyan. Now, Anna, as an accountant here, can actually cater to even freelancers in Mindanao, freelancers in in Davao, in Bisayas, no? So, so let's say, ako, is, siya. Sorry, yung access na yun, sabi mo, tatlo. So, kung kasama siya, she can have two. Mm-mm. Yes, yes. Kunwari, si business owner will have to register, no, Anna? And then, your client will register. You tell them to give you access. So, itatag ka nila sa system namin as the accountant. And then, one more access. So, it really depends on bigay niya ah, sa okay. co-founder or kunwari, ikaw, so, Marv, kung may partner ka later on, you can give yeah. access to that. So, accountant, kahit wala siyang account mismo personally sa Taksumo for her own taxes, she can be a delegate of many freelancers. Yes, correct, correct. Oh. So, makikita mo mamaya, Anna can actually switch or accountants can switch accounts from one one client to the next in one access. So, oh. ganun siya. Yun. So, very beneficial okay. also. Plus the fact that uh, we can't do yung manual kasi if you notice, no, when you apply sa PIR, they still give you manual books of uh, yung mga ledgers mo, yung mga manual, as in mo yung mga mukhang yeah, notebook. Meron ako dito. For those, <laughs> ayan, yung mga mukhang uh, columnar books, diba? So, that one can be updated by your accountant based on what you input dito sa Taksumo. So, that's that's what they're doing now. So, yung books mo na yun, Marv, you can delegate access to a bookkeeper or to an accountant and then that bookkeeper or accountant does uh, that manual in um, writing for you, for example, dun sa columnar. Yeah. Yeah, and so uh, there. So next slide. I wait. So teams, oh. no. Yun yun. Actually, yun yun. Um, Herlene. So you can shift from one. Uh, what do you call this company to the next? So hindi siya. I, I'm not too sure what you mean by team. Baka you can expound on that. Also, dito sa chat box. Okay. So next slide. Siguro we'll just answer later yung mga questions uh, after the. After the interview. Demo. Yes. Um, and okay. the demo. Next slide. Yep. Okay. Next is 
So, kung makikita mo, nirelate namin yung spending ninyo. So, paying your taxes monthly is like drinking two venti Starbucks Frappuccino every month. Frappuccinos every month. Two tickets to Spider-Man. Apparently, oh, yung Spider-Man namin. <laughs> oh nga eh, doon namin ito ginawa. So, guys, I'm sorry, pero five minutes before the presentation ko lang ito ginawa. <laughs> At saka, getting an Uber from BGC to Green Hills. Ganun lang po yun. Yun lang yung amount niya. So, okay. very affordable. Next slide. So, ayan. So, ganun lang siya. So, you'll see the subscription plans dun sa... Uh, sa baba, no, ng page namin, if you scroll down sa aming landing page, uh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> this comparison daw is very strong. Sabi ni Vern, we'll defi- definitely Max. use this for my pricing services. Good Max. job, Vern. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's demo so na. So, we'll do the next demo. Next na ko. Yes. Ano muna, sige. Magsalita ka muna, Ginger, kasi i- mag-assign in. <laughs> ah, yes. Mag-assign in. So, guys, kung may questions kayo, Sige, you can ask. answer ka muna. Okay. Questions while I fix this. Okay. So, okay lang ba kahit wala kang account? Sorry, anong... Ah, wait. What do you mean account, Joanna? Baka accountant. Ah, baka accountant. Well, we can't definitely do... Hindi namin kaya kasi gawin yung box nyo. So, kasi diba, we are a do-it-yourself system. And we can't uh, do anything manual. So, hindi naman namin pwedeng kuhain lahat ng uh, books nyo, tapos kami yung magsusulat. So, uh, I guess that's where, like, accountants and obviously, like, giving you advice on certain other complicated stuff, no? Na hindi namin masasagot really for you kasi... Um, Uh, I think must, it's it's best, Ren, to kung may complications na in that aspect, no, you can ask for the help of an accountant. In Pero other words, simple lang, Ginger, hindi naman mga walang trabaho ang mga accountants because of Ah, yes, that's hindi okay. naman. <laughs> hindi naman. <laughs> hindi naman. In fact, accountants can use us. Yun nga, lagi namin sinestress, eh, na accountants can definitely use us. So, if, um, for those accountants who are listening, no, um, if you have, like, a bunch of of uh, clients that you want to onboard and want us to be there with you to help onboard them, we will definitely help you out. So, you can just contact us sa customer service namin. So, sa chat box namin. Uh, okay. Oh, sige. Sagot ka muna yes, sa pag- yes. Because we are not, ito lang, gusto ko lang maging clear, especially for those bloggers who want to write about us. We are not an accounting system. So, hindi kami accounting system. We are the tail end of the process. So, we can actually, the next plan really is to link up with accounting ERP softwares or systems. So, if may mga kakilala kayo with accounting systems, we can link it. Uh, but based on what we've seen kasi, a lot of the our market, sorry, but yung define ko market kanina, all of them still do it manually. So, naka-Excel spreadsheet pa lang, naka, yeah, mostly naka-Excel spreadsheet yung kanilang, uh, let's say, expenses, yung kanilang, um, yung kanilang mga income, naka-Excel pa yan lahat. So, so, we're targeting that particular market. Pero in the future, we will link up to other accounting softwares. Uh, da, da, da. Yes, you will need uh, your own accountants or bookkeepers to manually update your books. So just give them access to this. Okay. Uh, Demo yes. na natin and then we'll answer Let's questions later. Yes. Okay. So, so guide mo lang ako. Ah. Okay, click on the button upper right, Marv. So let's start from the very beginning. No? So upper right, okay, uh, yung uh, burger. Extend ko lang yung window ko. Ah, sige, sige. Full screen, yan. Okay. Okay. Kita, kita so, na nila? Kita nila? Kita nyo na, guys, no? Yes. Okay. Yep, yep. So, so saan ako punta? Ah, sorry. Click on my name, Ginger Taksumo. May okay. drop down. Yan. Let's go yes. to edit profile. Okay. 
Okay. So, the first thing that you need to do is to register with the BIR. <laughs> so, hindi nyo po magagamit yung taksumo if wala po kayong certificate of registration. So, what is the certificate okay. of registration? I'll show you a sample. Marv, can you please click on that little question mark button sa tabi ng company name, yung taksumo? Okay. Yan. So, click Kita here. Click name here. And then, I'll show them a sample. Ah, here. Of this okay, paper. here. Yeah, nakikita nila. Yeah. So guys, this is what you call the Certificate of Registration. This is your 2303. So in your 2303, para tong biodata mo, yuck, biodata, may gumagamit ko ba ng term na yun? <laughs> anyway. So yun ang galing yun eh. <laughs> Nap- napagahala tayo yung age. Okay. Anyway. And then, company name is senior, yung parang trade name mo. Okay? And RDO is seen at the upper, yung pinaka-title sa may BIR, sorry. Yung nakalagay, this is the revenue Ito, district yeah. number. Yes, RDO. So, let's go back to the profile page, Marv. Okay. So, how do, you, how do you create a profile in Taksulbo? It's basically just copying. Lahat na pa po nakalagay dun sa COR nyo, eh, kakopy lang natin dito. Dilipat lang. Okay. Yes. Dilipat lang natin yan. Sobrang dali. Kakopy nyo lang talaga, guys. Um, and then, um, that COR, okay, going back to registration, no? you have to go to BIR, your RDO, sa city, kung saan yung address nyo, uh, kung, sa, kung ano yung gagamitin yung address. Kunwari, tagig, pupunta tayo sa RDO ng tagig. So, kung saan yung, kung ano yung gagamitin yung uh, business address, dun po tayo. Pero, going back to those na nagtrabaho before, yung city po ng employer natin, let's say, for example, Makati. I used to work on Ari in Makati. I need to transfer it first from Makati RDO to Tagig RDO. Okay. Yeah, so I have to go to the Makati RDO to say, I will transfer my TIN number to your Tagig RDO. So yeah. af- uh, wait a week after that, siguro one week, no? That's when you go to the Tagig RDO and say, Hi guys, gusto ko mag-apply sa freelancer. So as a freelancer naman, you just apply, you use Form 1901. So, yun yung application. I have a blog uh, a blog entry about this. So, I'll give Marv the link so that you yeah, can see the panel. Yes, I can share with you guys. So, let's go back now. So, you'll just copy yes. it. Yes, na yung, yes go ahead. ko lang sa RDO. Kung may accountant kayo, usually sila naman yung may, may runner na sila. So, ganun din sa akin. Sila, sila na yung nagpalipat for me. Yes. So, syempre, may may charge. Yes. So, so yeah. depending on us. Yeah, yeah, that's so yeah, that's true, no. Um, so mabilis lang naman 'yan, pero you get the certificate of registration siguro a week or two weeks after. A week or two weeks after. Or kung mabilis yung RDO, baka nga within the day makuha nyo eh. Tapos dun, dun da rin kayo magpapaprint ng receipts, makukuha nyo yung box nyo, ganun. So, everything will happen in siguro maximum two weeks, kaya na yun, no? Ana, what do you think? Based on your experience, uh, we can get then sa mga nag-register na rin dito. Kasi sa akin, mabilis lang actually sa tagig. Uh, iba-iba naman yan eh. Kasi iba-iba naman yung RDOs then how how fast they can process. So okay, let's go back to this. Um, yeah. Ah, sorry, dito. So baba tayo. I'll just explain something. Ah, okay. So, company name, taxpayer, title, zip code, registered address. Uh, akit ng konti, Marv. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Sige, akit. Pag-daya. Ayan. So, RDO, income source. Uh, when you click on that, sige, sa income yeah. source, meron tayong from solely from business, pwedeng mixed income. For those na nagtatrabaho pa, pwede rin mixed income kasi. So, mixed income means, hindi yata bumaba, Marv, yung drop down for income source. Ah, uh, lumabas. Lumabas. Ah, lumabas ba? Sorry. Oh, nakita ko. Uh-huh. So, yun. Basta, uh, meron dyan solely from business. Tapos, sales or goods business. So, goods meaning tangible products, no? Sales or uh, services meaning service. So, kung freelancer ka, you offer services. Services. Okay. Uh, and then, may replay ba for this webinar, Marv? Are you recording? Yes, yes, yes. 
Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, so we'll share it then with you guys. So here, are you using OSD, Optional Standard Reduction, this year? Uh, sure, Rick, we'll share it with you. Um, so OSD, Optional Standard Deduction, means you're telling the BIR that uh, what 40% of the revenue that we get from as a freelancer is our expenses. Kailangan mag-collect ng resibo basta meron, basta meron, meron, basta 40% expenses ko yon. No questions asked receipts for your expenses. But you can only change OSD to parang itemize at the beginning of the year. So dalawa kasi yan eh, itemize or OSD. Itemize means you choose kung uh, parang you have to input your expenses line by line. Kaya siya itemize. So ang OSD again is declaring that 40% of your revenue uh, is your expenses. Yon. So again, you can only shift once a year at the beginning of the year from OSD to itemize. If you're itemized already, you can't shift back to OSD. So we suggest sometimes na pagka beginning ka pala, starting freelancer, mag-OSD ka na lang muna. Um, is it possible? Yeah. Uh, sorry, iba pa yan Marva, that's tax type. Ah, so, okay. Okay. Uh, tax type. Okay. Yes, OSD, yung nakalagay na OSD, no, kasi itemize oh. na ako guys eh. Ah, okay. So okay. there. Paperwork needed for OSD, um, meaning supporting documents, so then. Kasi yung supporting documents for o, uh, for itemize are the recibo. Yung mga receipts that you collect, physical receipts, no? For OSD, wala. You don't even have to show them yung mga receipts ng expenses mo. Basta automatically, 40% of your revenue is your... Uh, expenses or your expenses. See, si Vern naman nagtatanong, is it possible to have this video on this specific page? Like someone explaining what these fields mean on the page itself. Yes, that's that's a nice idea, no? So yeah, ayusin namin yan. That would help Taksumo users that didn't watch this webinar. Sure, sure, great idea. Thanks for that. Um, I think my space pa naman kami to do that. By the way, we, we are constantly changing our UI UX. So yung user experience namin, lagi yung nagbabago. So huwag kayo ma-shock pag kunwari gumagamit na kayo. Um, there. Um, it's for, sorry, 40%. Did I say 30? Sorry, 40%. Uh, 40% of your revenue is declared as expenses. Yon. So tax type, it's either percentage or VAT nakalagay dyan, VAT or percentage. So VAT, you become VAT if you have an annual revenue of one point, uh, if it's, if it, uh, sorry, if it goes beyond, if it goes beyond 1.919 million in a year. So you become VAT already. So yung mga nag-earn so, more CEO level. <laughs> uh, yung mga nag-earn more na more than uh, a more CEO. More than a CEO. More Hashtag. than a CEO. <laughs> hey, <mamo>. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> ayan. So, okay. ayan. So, the rest, alam nyo na yan. Birthday nyo, gender, tin nyo, COR. Tapos may digital signatures na po kami. Ayan. Nakukuha na siya. Okay. Let's go to income. So, after mamagawa, <laughs> kasi nag- nag-react talaga si Mamo. Ayan. So, um, <laughs> nakikita mo ba yung kanila? Ayan. Uh, Nakikita mo yung comments nila, Morph? Med- Hindi. Medyo, naka-open kasi yung screen. Uh, ay, nakikita mo pala. Siyempre, binabasa ko, akala ko hindi mo nakikita. Ayan, sabi ni Show then, ah, so by then, OSD won't be advisable na. By then, siguro, kaya, nagkaka- kaya most of them nag-itemize na. So, ako, nag-itemize na ako. Kasi, actually, marami talagang expenses kasi pag events, di ba? So, parang mas gusto ko mag-itemize. Pero pag freelancer naman, I think, pag beginner, alam mo yun, when you're beginning, and even freelancers, hindi naman gaano yung expenses. So, uh, so kapag more than 40% yung expenses mo, mas okay na may, may itemize uh, para mas less tax yung babayaran. Tama pa. Well, kung marami ka na, may may iba, ano yun eh, iba na rin yung pag-compute nun. So, yeah, in in essence, parang gano'n na nga. Kung, kung marami ka talagang expenses, hindi necessarily less tax eh. Um, 
iba lang talaga yung way na ng pagkakakompute nun. So, basta kung beyond 40% ka na, siguro mag-itemize ka na nga talaga. Kasi marami ka na talagang expenses. Basically, ganun lang. Simple, simple concept lang. Yeah. So, if itemize equals receipt, equals tax minsan kasi yung expenses, right? Sorry, hindi ko na get your oh. If itemize, equals receipt, equals tax. Sorry, Ay, sorry. Pa-clarify. Yeah. Oh. Pa-clarify na lang, Rex. Hindi ko masyadong na intindihan lang. Ayan, so, okay, going to the income uh, tab, no? What you're gonna do, first thing that you're gonna do is add your income and your expenses. So, let's try to add your income, Mark. Pwede ako mag-add. Right? Yes, add ka. Pwede ka mag-add. Demo account lang yan. So, don't be scared. Don't Ay, be shy. Para ba yung 10 digits dito? Yeah. Oh, sige. Alagyan mo. Yes. Pwede, pwede. <laughs> you so, are kahit anong number lang? Yes, kahit anong number. Pero, syempre, pag real na to, yung OR dun sa OR booklet ninyo. ba? Yes. September 12 niyan, di ba? Yes. Gross amount, yan na. Pero yes. Na natin... uh, yung sales mo services. Kasi kunwari, freelancer talaga. Ah, okay. So, sales services. Ito, ito, ano ba ito? 10 million, kunwari. Yes, sige. Yung, yung yan. Yung kay Mamu, kunwari ito. Yan. Kay Mamu yeah, na ano. Yan. Ah, sa'yo to, sa'yo to. <laughs> sige. <laughs> Business name. Kunwari, binayaran ka ng... Hindi ah, business okay, name. Yung nagbayad sa'yo. Income to eh. Kung ano binayara ka ni Bernard. Kanyan. Ayoko. Ayoko si Bernard. May <laughs> workshops na. <laughs> okay. Yan. Rix, yung for computation, siguro better to ask uh, an accountant, no? Regarding yung computation. Kasi ako, sa totoo lang, I'm not Ano eh, hindi ako masyadong magaling with the computation dito sa yung ginawa, ginamit naming algorithm because si Mark talaga yung Mark is our uh, consultant na no, for Pwede taxation. Pwede na to. 100,000. Uh, no, I can't, I can't discuss ngayon ITR. Wala pa sa system but I'll show you how it works ha. Uh, I'll show it. I'll show this is percentage ha. Assuming percentage and yung nakikita nyo on the side we uh, wait lang Marba. Don't text. Ah, okay. Uh, wait lang, uh, don't click muna submit. Um, so you'll see, may nakalagay, you're running tax juice dito on your left oh. side. So, oh. 2551M, kasi yan yung kailangan kong bayaran, no? 2551M, which is your, what do you call this? Your sales tax. Tapos yung 1701Q, this is your income tax. So sales tax, ang premise ng sales tax is based on the sales that you get Income tax is, when you say income, diba, it's your revenues minus your expenses, diba? So, your income, diba? So, whether loss or or income, or income or loss, yan, diba? So, yan. So, makikita nyo, if you key in all of these things, no? Sige, baba. Uh, you can scroll down, Marv, dun sa ini-encode mo. So, you can choose yeah. a file, which is, you can take a picture of the OR and then upload it. Pwede rin namang hindi. Um, and then you take kung either business or personal income to. So we made it this way para lahat ng, if you want to track, for example, gift from my daddy or gift from my nina, so that's your personal income, we don't take into consideration any computer access. We need take yung business, yung mga tinik nyo as business income, uh, the ones that we will compute for taxes. So, let's try to click on submit, Marv. Kung baga parang kung ilagay niya personal, para lang tong kung baga tracking yung mga pumasok at lumabas sa kanyang Yes, account. correct. Oo, kasi we're trying to instill that habit that you guys, even if hindi naman siya for taxes, you have to try to uh, create it, no? Sorry, can we see that again? So you can edit. Let's try to edit it. Ha? Click on your 10 million again, Marv. So click on that entry anywhere. 100,000. Yeah. And then can Tapos. you um, uh, look at your left uh, part, guys, no? Yung left side ng screen. Your monthly percentage tax due September 15, di ba? I don't know if you see it. Medyo maliit lang. But August due 15. Due September 15. So let's try to change the date, Marv. Let's say nakuha mo to last month, August. 
Ah, oo nga pala. Tama. Para makita natin yung Para difference. Pala. Kasi yung nag-adjust yung October. So, okay. for example, I want to file this September 15. So then, we're okay. trying to look for ways to link up with Expensify also and all of those na mga tra- income tracking mechanisms. No? In save ko na, Ginge. Yes, go ahead. You can save. So, you can edit naman, guys. Just don't edit when you've already filed. <laughs> so, Sempre pag nag-file na tayo and you'll know when no. Sige. Yun. So yan, Taso, makikita nyo, yeah, tumaas na yung ating taxation, yung taxes Grabe. that we have to pay. And then pati sa na, baba. <laughs> eh 10 million naman pala nilagay mo kasi. 100,000 diba? so, na lang. 100,000. 100,000 ba nilagay mo? Hindi ko, yeah, 100,000. So there. Early ko, early. So ganyan siya. So nag-automated na siya. So, let's click on that. Kunwari, sep- ano na, I wanna submit yung 2551M ko for this September 15 deadline. Let's so, click on... So, ikiklik ko itong 36, diba? Ah, ang galing-galing mo. Oh, syempre, alam ko na. <laughs> user Sanay name. Na eh. user. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, so that one also will have to... Ano yan. So, it will verify. It will ask you to verify tama ba yung nilagay mo dun sa profile mo. So, baka naman okay. mali yung details. Guilty, and, guilty ako dyan for a few months, diba? Mali yung thing ko. <laughs> oh, si Marv, mali yung 10. Buti na lang na-correct na natin, no? So, sa just sobrang, be careful. Sa sobrang dali gamitin ang taksu mo, nakaligtaan ko na mali pala yung thing na nilagay ko. So, <laughs> naayos pa so, ng accountant kayo. Ganun kadali yeah. siya, guys. <laughs> yes, Rex, we also compute for quarterly. We'll show you it. I will show you that one later. And yes, annual. Pero wala pala, pa dito yung annual eh. Ginger, yes, pa, kunyari, if in the future na parang ma-verify na tama yung TIN na nilagay ko sa registration. We're Hindi, working I think mali pala yung nilagay, mali yung nilagay ko sa registration pala, I think. Kaya, yeah, kaya yung, yeah, so ngayon, we're really telling people na be sure that you check yung information that you put. Baka kasi nagmamalala week. But yeah, it's really yeah. important. This is why it's important. Kasi, um, syempre, mamaya yung din yung mali, di ba? Stress nga ako kasi ako nun eh. Kaya siguro, nagmamadali. Oo. Yes. So, I click yeah, on so, yung, this is yes. correct? So, click on that. We'll show them. Mabagal lang internet ko, pero kung mabilis to, as in, tapos na talaga kay sila, di ba? Oh, at saka, in-explain kasi natin. Eh. Um, yeah. So there. So you'll see that we've automatically already filled out the form for you. So no need to do anything, no? So your tax dues are shown there. Again, di ba? 3-6 yun. Gateway fee is based on the... Okay, we'll show you, no? May mga options dito for payment. So you have PayPal, Pay via PayPal, pay via online banking, pay via non-bank OTC, and pay via bank OTC. The rest are blank, uh, black, uh, black and out, or grayed out, sorry, grayed out right now because we, mas mahaga yung deadline yan eh. Mas mahaga yung deadline. So, uh, okay. uh, so the earlier you file, the more channels of... <laughs> <laughs> channels okay. to use. Parang okay. gano'n. Kasi nga, um, the rest is so, like, uh, yeah, kasi may cut-off lang kami with our payment gateway. So, yun lang yun. Yes. So, if you choose different, uh, video online banking, meron din dito, Vern. So, you just click on online banking dito. Lalabas yung ibang page, yung Dragon Pay. For full disclosure, we use Dragon Pay. Uh, gateway fees will also adjust based on the payment uh, channel that you use. So, when you click on proceed dito, pero hindi na natin gagawin yan kasi baka bayaran Ay, yung Mark yung 3-6. Totoo na ba ito? <laughs> Totoo na ito eh. Yeah. L- live po ito okay. ha. Live. So, live talaga yung system. So, when you click on proceed with this, it will direct you to a PayPal page. So, I'm not sure if Marv has one Ay, touch. So I, Sorry. Yeah, baka one okay. touch ka for PayPal. Mami, ang pumulo yan eh. So, Oh. Ayan. So, let's show Rick because he wanted to see yung quarterly income. So, balik tayo sa income, income dashboard. Ulit. Yes, balik tayo sa income. Ayan. So, di ba? Sobrang dali. Oh, tama yung sinasabi ni Marv na in five pag, minutes. Pag-click mo na, na proceed. Actually, sabi ko lang, pag-click pag ng proceed, so, kunyari PayPal, after mo i-pay yung PayPal, babalik sa, parang may thank you page kayo naman. You're done. You can 
relax, ganyan-ganyan. Or may email kayo na pinapadala din na parang yes. no need to do anything for now. Parang you're done. Yes. So, ganun ka bilis. May ano, may lalabas. You're done. You can now go and earn your next million. Kira mo? Show mo kira mo ako, ha? Uy, <laughs> ang galing mo, ha? Pero totoo yun. Diba? Ganun yun. Okay, let's show Rex muna. It's a paid app, Rex. Siyempre, kailangan natin ng ano, pambasweldo sa mga tao namin. Um, I sorry, I'll show you the subscription later. Yung babalik kami sa subscription page for those na na late lang. Pero let's show you first yung quarter, uh, yung quarterly income tax dito. Sige. So let's click on quarterly ah, income 70, tax, okay. Marv. Yeah, 1701. Due on August 11, tapos na. Pero tapos na yan. So, so yung next is the quarter. August. <laughs> Pero <laughs> nakahabol ako yata. Parang sinab, parang may uh, Full disclosure, di ba? Parang, I think, nalate, mm-hmm. ano ba? Parang may konting additional charge. Yes. Um, yung, yeah, pag late kasi, guys, we already, hindi kami yung nagsasur- nag-charge doon, ah. BIR kasi has uh, the specific, di ba, may penalties talaga sila. So, we already compute for the penalties from BIR. Ah, okay. So, so ganun siya. <laughs> yes. So, may penalty na. Makikita nyo naman sa form nyo. Oh, makikita nyo here, ah. So, click mo yung select type, income source, Marv. Kasi nakalaga select select type. So, let's be okay. sure to change it solely to for business. solely from your business. Yes, this is correct. Click ko na. Yes, click na. And then... You are filing um, yeah, after so, deadline. Ayan, yung lumabas sa akin. Yes, Parang medyo correct. kinabahan so, ako. BIR impose. Huwag kayong kabahan pag ganito. So, we're just telling you <laughs> that. Huwag kayong ma-shock dun sa na iba yung babayaran nyo because there are already penalties. So, compute for me. So, the system will compute for you already. Ah, okay. Ito nga yung nakita ko. Okay. Yes. And we only accept uh, yan. So, let's say yung mga excess credits mo from previous year 1701, I'm sure meron. Kung wala naman, kung nari new filing pa lang kayo, leave it lang lang. And then, sige, continue, continue. mo. Oo. Kasi tatanungin lang naman sa'yo kung meron ka na eh, before eh. So, kung nari may credits ka from pre- previous year, lagay mo dyan. So, kung yeah. may taxable income ka from previous quarters, lagay mo dyan. So, i-continue mo lang. There you go. Proceed, so, proceed. There. Yes. Uh, ay, sige. Sige, bayaran mo. <laughs> so, there. So, makikita nyo, may gateway fee na rin siya dyan kasi malaki nga yung amount, no? So, PayPal is uh, 4.4% plus 15 pesos na per transaction. When you scroll down, scroll mo nga yung uh, form, Marv. Ah, yung form. Yes, yes. Sorry. Inform itself. So, makikita nyo meron dyan, ano eh, surcharges, no? Medyo malabo lang from this end, but you'll uh, see my compromise, ito. surcharge. Yeah. So, Tsaka pakita rin yun natin yung, yung signature automatically lumalabas. Yes. Signature. Tsaka yung fields, di ba? Alam na alam ko. Yes. Grabe daw yung tax mo, Marv. Yeah. <laughs> Yan. So, Pinats lang sa akin um, yan. lang. <laughs> kaya kaya niya yan bayaran. So I I want to show you something else no. So punta tayo sa income again. Joke lang guys, sa mga hindi ko kilala, joke lang yan. Alam niyo naman. Wait, test lang to ha. This is just a, a dummy account, hindi po totoong account to. So let's go to income Marv. Income ulit. Oo. Uh, um for those of you na nag-excel, yung mga OC na nag-start na talagang mag-excel ng kanilang expenses and income. We have uh, a bulk upload functionality as well. So, mm-hmm. pwedeng, uh, kunwari, tinatamag kayo mag-encode, no? Collect your receipts, you can give it to an encoder, and then tell them to encode it in a template. So, what? where do you get the template? Sige, can you click on that, Marv? Bulk upload? Yes. Ah, uh, download file, select yes. file. Yes, so that's the file that you uh, will use for the template, yung download file. You can save that in your computer and then you select the file when you submit the file and submit the file for uploading. So, okay. tapos pwede bang i-automate, Vern, ano to, yung automate yung filing. Let's say I will deposit 10K and just let the system deduct. Wala pa, hindi kami nagka-credits, Vern, kasi we're talking about money for taxation eh. So, 
hindi pa hindi kami ganun pwede sa ganung classing fung- um what you call that process because credits pa lang yun for tax pero this system has already been seen by the BIR so we've presented to them already um yeah so at the end of the day really ko whatever you input naman here uh, it's it uh, we BIR doesn't uh, need to know doesn't uh, s- doesn't check naman on your income and expense, but what you filed, what yung kinukuha lang nila is yung file that we send from them when you pay already taxes. Uh, so, kunari, ano pa ba? Ano pa bang mga, ah, yung, yung sending nung invites to your accountant, no? So, click on Ginger again, Marv. Okay. Maybe nabasa ko yung comment. Okay, Ginger. Yes. And then, Ne, click ginger, taksumo, tapos. Tapos, send invites. Yan. So, for the send. accountant, yan. Yes, actually, uh, if you're, pag hindi pa kayo talaga kampante na to do it yourself, you can really uh, ask for the help of the accountant, no? So, this is where you can send your accountant the email. So, you can invite your accountant here. Yes. Diyan invite. So, pwede ka mag-invite ng accountant mo. And then, as you can see sa taas, here, di ba nakalagay, EJ, Arboleda, Ataksumo. Tapos, may set as accountant on the side. So, you can set him as an accountant. Ah, okay. So, there. That's it, guys. So, ano pa ba yung mga questions natin? No, hindi na po kailangan, Joanna. Kasi, um... Uh, I don't have it dito sa system, no? But Marv will know, will, uh, Marv will have that dashboard. Can we go to the dashboard? Sorry, Marv, last na. Ah, uh, okay. Everything naman, um, we adhere to data privacy, to our data privacy law, Anna. So all of the data sa system are safe and secure. Uh, we don't change anything. We can't change. Kaya miss ka na yung kay Marv na tin number na nagkamali siya. He had to change it by himself because we can't change whatever data you input to system, um, even as taksumo, no. So yeah. all of this, um, all of these things, we have. Our, uh, that's the reason why you also have our own office because all of all of your all of these things are within lang the bounds of our uh, our office, no. Yeah, Ginge. Uh, Yes, For the, itong dashboard, siguro sabihin natin sa kanila na ito ba nagiging red pag malapit na yung deadline or... Correct. Yes. Uh, okay. Pag, ano na, pag start ng, ano ba, pinare a few weeks before the deadline? Red na siya um, or a few days? Basta pagpatak ng September 1 for the September 15 deadline, as you'll notice, okay, we're always five uh, five days earlier than the BIR tax deadline. So, um, we made that really because we have some, basta the process that we have with the BIR is that way, and even with our uh, accredited partner banks, partner AABs. Um, so, there. So, kung gusto nyo yung copy ng BIR email confirmation, it's seen dun sa button, so whatever bot, kunwari yung green, pero wala akong sample niya dito eh. Yan, proof of filing will be your BIR email confirmation, the same one that you get right now, and uh, a payment confirmation from Taxumo that we've coursed it through. May transaction ID number yon with a bank that we use or the partner that we use. So those are the two things that you will receive from um, us. Yeah. Um, Tapos, yes. Sorry. Um, we'll share again yung deck for the pricing. Yes, Before yes, we yes. go yes. to the Q&A. Correct, correct. Uh, yung, isa, yung isa na lang, that one. This one. Uh, okay. Yep, yep. So, for those of you na hindi to nakita, Marv, palakihan na lang natin. Medyo maliit kasi siya. Ayan. So, we have three packages. no. So, we have uh, one monthly basic. And the both, uh, we have annual basic, which is paid one time for the entire year, and premium annual, which is paid yeah. one time for the entire year. The difference, as you can see, yung basic annual and the basic monthly doesn't have yung ITR, which is in 17, oh, 
1.01 ITR which is on April 15. So oh. yun lang yung difference niya. But the rest uh, we can file for 2551M. Wala pa kaming VAT but we will have VAT by the end of the year. Mm-hmm. Uh, we will have VAT forms. 1600 series baka by next year pa for those yeah. of you with employees. Kasi the system was really built for uh, self-employed individuals and small business owners. Mm-hmm. So, Tapos, Jim, siguro if you can yes. announce na rin yung special uh, promo natin for blenders. Yes, for blenders, you can use, okay, we have a code that you can use so that 500 off siya in, um, dito sa annual plans nyo and 100 off siya dito sa monthly plan. So, uh, great Parang pinaka magandang deal talaga yung annual. Kasi ano na siya eh, parang from the 375 parang ganyan per month yan, ba? Na parang pag, pag kinumpute mo, uh, bababa talaga siya eh. So from 4495, wait. So, uh, so with that code, 4495 minus 500, that's already 3995. So, that pumapatak siyang around 332 pesos na lang on a monthly basis. Um, the, the code is FL Blend. Yeah. So again, FL Blend. So yeah, this is what you can... Yes, yes. Share mo na yung code. Kita so nyo ba get... ako? Kasi kita hindi. Nyo. Parang Murphy, hindi kita makikita. Oo. Ayan. Okay. FL yeah. Blend. O napaka ano... Wow, yeah, an FL blend. So there, so can you you can use that code. So once you sign up for the system, use that code again. So nakalink na siya dyan sa sa ano and you will get the discount pag nag-subscribe ka. So automatic na yun. We have a 1 month free trial. So if I were you like try it already, try to file for your taxes. Uh, using the system so that gamay nyo na. And then after one month, yun, we will automatically deduct it from your subscription fee. No? So there, okay. so that's yeah. it. May mga questions pa ba tayo? Na yeah, so, na sa- yeah, we, we open the, the floor to your questions. So just type in your questions. Uh, so Joanna, pag premium ganun din, 500 yung discount for the premium. So, automatically deducted na rin siya. Yep. FL Blend. Kailan, ni, lala, kailan paano nila gagawin? Upon registration, may lalabas na parang code. Yes. Meron siyang area yes. that you will see na enter the code. So, as early as now, when you sign up, no, get started for free, it will ask you for your uh, your code. Ayan. Tanong ni Ana, pwede, pwedeng i-amend sa system pag na-file na or offline na sa BIR? Pwede rin. Pwede kami mag-amendment, Ana. Uh, basta, pag nag-amend ka, ganun din. Same, same thing applies, no? If it's beyond our deadline or Taksumo deadline, uh, meron na siyang, kinocomputan na siya ng surcharge uh, ng penalties. Pero pag ginawa mo naman yung amendment prior to, kunwari, nagkamali ka lang, no? Prior to uh, our deadline, okay pa siya. Kaya pa yung, uh, yeah, kaya pa yung amendment. Tapos, uh, for penalties, guys, what we can only do is a month, I ah, sorry, wait, kung na September 15 ngayon, oh, we can only accommodate yung mga nakalimutan na filings uh, two months prior to today. So, hindi kami kayang like, ay, nako, bayaran ko yung taxes ko from last year. Parang gano'n. <laughs> hindi po kami pwedeng mag-accommodate nun. Kasi pag gano'n, you really have to go to the BIR already. So, okay lang yung kulari, nakalimutan mo, no? bakasyon ka for one month, no? Na parang, ay, oh my gosh, nakalimutan ko mag-file ng taksumo. Nagtataksumo ko, nakalimutan ko. You can file yung nakalimutan mo last month. And obviously, may penalties yun. Pero, pero at least you didn't have to go to the RDO na. To Kaling daw, sabi ni, sabi ni Thank Anna. you, Anna. So, yung annual, yung sa annual premium, it hindi na namin ka. kailangan magpa-audit sa third-party accountant, tama ba? No, um, ganito, if you're required to have an audited financial statement, not all of us are required to have an audited financial statement. Ha? Especially pag OSD ka, 
uh, yung OSD, pag OSD ka, from what I know, hindi ka talaga kailangan mag mag uh, audited FS. Pag itemize ka, that's when you're required to have an audited FS. We're not an auditing firm. Again, hindi kami auditing firm. So, yung FS nyo, if you need an FS, you have to go to an accountant and show them the system, give them access to the system because hindi kami na gumagawa ng audited financial and the financial statement and audited financial statement. Yon. We're just a tool actually. We're a tool uh Yes, yes, ganun siya na parang hindi ka kailangan mag um, FS if OSD ka. Yes, yan. Tama si Rex. Rex, are you an accountant? Tama si Rex. Kailangan CPA kasi ang prepare man ng FS. That's true. So Siguro that's why... Uh, another, okay. another question, Ginge. Um, let's say yun nga, yung freelancer, baka wala siyang kilala accountant. Meron ba kayong recommended or partner accountants that you can refer to them? Um, uh, if meron naman, well, wala kaming, well, no, as a company, we don't really um, uh, endorse mm. like people kasi we want to be uh, non-biased and non-partisan with yeah. all of the freelance accountants out there. So, pero, yeah, yeah but, uh, you can ask, no, yung mga people sa community natin kung may mga accountants dyan. Uh, there. Tax software provider, correct? Yes, tax tax software, tax software provider. The well, for BIR, kasi they have no policy in accrediting accrediting tax software providers. But we've been bugging them na, na parang okay, check our system. Well, they they know no, they've seen our system and everything. Pero they yeah, they should have one. Yun yun. They should have won. Kami na rin masasam. Nagsasabi na... Pero in... Well, ad, ano no? In all... Ano naman sa kanila? In all honesty. They've been really helpful. And uh, they've been working with us. It's just that the policies that have been set in place like years, years, years ago doesn't say anything about all of these new things happening. It's a different world. So, maraming automated, maraming hindi natin nini-expect, di ba, na mangyayari. Like, Uber, sino ba yan? Ano ba yan? Diba? So, all of us are amazed at all of these changes. But yun, they have to adapt to what's happening already. So, yeah, yun, inaayos na rin na tinatanong na nga namin sa kanila yun. yun. Ayan, si Anna can help you. Ayan, so, oh, di ba, if you need an account, um, siguro yes. ang tanong ko lang, like for, kasi like for me, medyo intimidating at the start na wala akong alam sa tax. Tapos nga, going inside tax sumo na kung wala, al, kung hindi lang kita kilala, parang nas, mag, nagkaroon ako ng confidence talaga to use it. So for those na, syempre hindi naman lahat mag-message sa'yo, no? Uh, kamusta mm-hmm. naman yung, let's say, if they need to ask, uh, is there chat support or email support? So para ba Yes, um, so in our site, makikita niyo yung little green button sa baba. Uh, or you can message us on Facebook Messenger. So, we use Zendesk. So, lahat ng mga tickets nyo or even pag nag-comment kayo sa Facebook page, naka-integrate sa, si, sa, sa support system namin. So, lahat yun ay naka-integrate sa Zendesk na. So, all of those Siguro come pa- in as... Mm-hmm. Siguro pag yung malapit na yung deadline, doon dumadami yung nagka-question, nag, nag-message ngayon, sa inyo. Ngayon, ngayon. Kaya sure. perfect, ti- perfect timing to for you, Marv, na we're, oh, we're doing oh, this. Marv. Kasi uh, Friday yung deadline namin for Taksumo. So for those mm-hmm. who want to try already yung system, kahit na zero income, no? To declare zero income or yung, I'm sure maraming bago kasi dito. So that's it. That's a good way of testing the system. Again, if may mga questions kayo about accounting, I'm not an accountant. Uh, you can ask an accountant. I just want to make it clear because mamaya, uh, sa totoo lang, Bob's din ako when it comes to accounting. <laughs> diba natutunan ko na lang to by, by creating all of these things, no? by helping create uh, these things. So... Um, you can ask your accountant if you have more complicated questions and pakisabi na rin sa accountant nyo to check out Taksumo. Yes? Oh, I, will uh, the, segway, no? I will promote the system po sa FB. I have a lot of CP. Oi, thank you, Anna. 
you smiling ka, FL blend. Yes, so thank you, Anna. Napakaswabe ng uh, ano ko, <laughs> promotion. <laughs> oh, siguro one more or two more questions before we let Ginger go. Medyo overtime na pala tayo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Affil- uh, right now, affiliate link. Uh, yeah, You can use Marv's link first, yung FL blend. Pero wala pa right now. So we're going through like yung Taksumo Heroes muna and mga community leaders for all of these cascading of... How to you? Ano yung Ay, sorry. Anong tanong mo, Vern? Submit a filing for free? Tama. Mm-hmm. Kung gusto mo na mag-submit ng tax filing mo for September 15, pwede na yan for free. For free pa yan. Basta one month yung free duration natin. So you can even encode already your expenses and income starting this September, no? If you plan to. Yes, pag zero income. Correct. Pag zero income. Yes. Yes, pwede. All types of... Oh. Maraming tayo sa pwede na. <laughs> Kaya yeah, yabang eh, no? biglang zero income. <laughs> uh, may, yan, ganun din. Pagpunta nyo sa payment process, <laughs> yeah, iba so click nyo pa rin, pero, o oh, nga, 10, 10 yeah. M na yen yan. <laughs> 10 million yen. O, diba, kunyari, ganun mm-hmm. pa rin yung process. Click payment. Pero, syempre, wala, hindi ka naman mabayad ng zero pesos eh. So, same mm-hmm. process pa rin. Pero, yeah. nag-file ka pa rin. Kahit, kahit wala kang uh, wala kang income for the yes. previous month, you need, uh, still need to file. At saka, syempre, walang gate fa- gate, sorry, gateway fees yun. Kasi zero yung binabayaran nyo, guys. Walang yeah. fees yun. Yeah. So, para pala yun mm-hmm. kung ano, kung ang taksu mo, tapos you need, wala. Pupunta you need ka sa RDO. You, oh, you need to go to the RDO or uh, EBRR forms, ganun din. Oo. Oh. May ah, iba-iba pa rin yung process kasi right now, eh, hindi mo masabi anong hinihingi ng RDO mo. Minsan, gusto nila online. Minsan, fine. M- minsan, pupunta ka pa rin doon. Yeah. Yun nga, walang standard. Na yun, zero. Oo, wala rin kasi standard process talaga ang mga RDO. Eh. Ang, ang sakit so, naman yun, zero income ka na nga, tapos pupunta ka pang RDO. Oh, sana, di ba? Sana pa lahat pa. automated. Tapos oh, ang diba? ano pa, pag yung EBIR for yung EBIR sis, form system kasi, um, you need to download it. Eh ako, nakamak ako, apparently parang hindi gumagana sa Mac yung EBIR forms. Kailangan naka, ano ka, Microsoft na OS. Oo. Okay, so, I think, yeah, we've answered yung mga questions sila. So, Ginger, before you leave, so, uh, Please invite them again um, to to um, sign up for tell us what. Uh, baka meron pa yung events or something to to invite them to go to that. Ayan. So thank you so much, guys, for attending this impromptu webinar. <laughs> webinar. Uh, for those who haven't re uh, who haven't registered yet, no, for 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 BIR as a freelancer, I have a guide in my blog. I'll send Marv the link so that he yes. And then sa dulo meron nga doon, we're doing a survey of those who want uh, to be registered with the BIR. So kung anong city, we're doing a count of those pe- freelancers in their kung ilang city, kung ilan sila sa isang city, so that we can help you. We're looking for people who can help maglakad ng registration ninyo as well. Um, in bulk, para wala ng hassle for all of us. And then, um, so subscription is there. If you have questions on subscription, yung fees namin, it's in taksumo.com. You can check it out. Uh, please don't forget to use FL Blend, yun yung code that you can use for the 500 peso discount. So if you have any questions, again, about Taksumo, how to use the system, just click on that green button in our site, which is on the lower left, uh, lower right, and then we can answer all, well, hopefully all of your questions, no? Wag lang love life nyo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> na napalantina, no? Ayun, so that's it, guys. So again, taksumo.com, uh, code is FL Blend. Um, yung mga nag, nag-register through this webinar, I believe automatically you will receive yung replay link yes. for, to this webinar. I think maybe tonight or tomorrow. Pero, 
I will also mm -hmm. again publish this as a video, sa page, sa group, and sa as a podcast. So, uh, marami pa opportunities to uh, to catch again a replay of the show if you didn't, if you missed the earlier part of uh, Ginger's presentation. Hey, thank yes. you. And uh, Thank you peace, guys. everyone. Thank you. Ingat kayo. I hope you oh. are safe. Uh, yeah, so see you uh, soon. Meron Bye. tayong mga pag upcoming events like uh, Christmas party. And that's it. Mm. So thank you. Thank you again, Ginger. Yes. And thank thank you, guys. you guys. Bye. So usap ulit tayo Bye. sa Messenger chat group. Yes. FreelanceBlenders.com Okay, bye, bye guys. Thanks for the question. Bye. Okay, so nag-enjoy ba kayo? Did you learn a lot? And uh, uh, are you thinking of signing up for Taksumo? So, well, first of all, thank you, Ginger, for uh, uh, being a guest on the show. Uh, kahit madalian, sabi nga namin during the interview, impromptu webinar yon, but she gladly accepted the invitation and uh, presented uh, Taksumo and demonstrated also Taksumo uh, sa atin. But before we go, I'd like to thank again our sponsor, Golance. I would like to say thank you to our friends at Golance, especially to Mr. Michael Brooks, the founder of Golance, who I actually interviewed before at episode 104 of the Freelance Blend podcast. Thank you for supporting Freelance Blend. And again, for you, dear freelancer, I highly recommend that you sign up at GoLance using my link freelanceblend.com slash GoLance. That's G-O-L-A-N-C-E. Now, signing up is so easy. Just sign up using Facebook or LinkedIn and you're ready to earn from the gigs being offered inside GoLance. What's great about GoLance is that you earn not just from the gigs but also by referring your friends to join the platform. So if you have many freelancer friends, just invite them to join GoLance using your special referral link and then you earn 10% of the commission fee for the lifetime of all their contracts. Again, that's lifetime. Now that's so powerful. You can actually earn while you sleep. Again, please check out GoLance at freelanceblend.com slash golance Okay Now before we go I'd like to invite everyone to sign up for taksumo.com uh, and again use our special code FLBLEND That's F-L-B-L-E-N-D and get exclusive discounts when you uh, sign up for Taksumo.com Okay, so that's it for this episode. Thanks again for listening and peace to everyone. Bye! Thanks for listening to the Freelance Blend Podcast. For more details about the show and our thriving freelancer community, please visit us at www.freelanceblend.com